I was good at fighting and I was good at art. I had never gone to college. Like I wasn't like qualified to do anything else. Boxing was everything. I was like, boxing was like my opportunity to do something with my life. And when I walked away from it and moved to California, I had nothing. I had a ton of child support, but I had nothing. Went to Home Depot, put in an application, and they told me that I was not good enough. And uh, walked out of there and had no, no options. Like, what am I gonna do? Go to, go to McDonald's and do fast food? I had two children, Tyson and Chris, I had to support. Of course, I wasn't even making any money, so getting a ticket to go visit them was impossible. And uh, man, it was just a low period in my life. And then all of a sudden, I looked in the paper and I saw a saw operator. And you guys know the story. I went to Campbell Tool and Metal. They gave me a job. I learned the saws. The truck driver that used to go to all the machine shops, I didn't even know what machining was, came back and uh, the owner of Zenola Manufacturing he actually said, hey, do you know a young guy that has a crazy head on his shoulders that we can teach a trade to? And he said, absolutely, I have one guy in particular. And he came to me and said, you need to go over there and apply for this job. And boom, I went. And all of a sudden, it went from $9 an hour to $11, $13. And you guys know that story, how all of a sudden, my life started taking off. I got a car. I started like paying rent and got my own place and uh, I was paying my child support and everything just took off from there. I had a childhood friend, this person, actually it was my childhood friend's mother and she also lived in Sunnyville, California, where I was at. We're talking about jobs and like I looked at her and she was like a businesswoman and she like had done like a lot of great things and we were like, I would just have talks with her about business. Like being from Hawaii, I'd never been around like true like professionals, you know? And uh, so I just like to hear her different stories and how she rose up and stuff. And one day she looked at me and she said, Titan, like, so now you're working and you're making more money. Like, what is your all time goal? And I thought to myself, and I thought about construction. I used to hang drywall. I used to, you know, labor. And I even drove a backo in Hawaii when I was young. And uh, I thought to myself, you know what? The guys who are actually making good money, they were like in the mid 20s. So I was like, you know, now I'm probably making like $13, $14 an hour as an oil manufacturing. So I said, my goal where I've made it, like she's like, if you made it, like if you made it, like what? is the goal. And I said, if I can make $25 per hour, like that would be amazing. And I feel like I actually achieved something. And she looked at me and she said, Titan, you would not even be able to raise a family on $25 an hour. And I remember like thinking like, oh, it seems like a lot of money to me. And yet over the years, I've struggled as you guys know. But at the same time, I went out and I actually opened my own company and I, and I solved the right problems and I've, and I've done the things that needed to get done to actually bring in a great income, to take care of my family, to purchase, you know, a house, you know, to bring my boys over, you know, and to come live with me. And now they work for the shop and, and all of it, you know, and, uh, I look now at the company that I'm standing in right now. I'm standing, standing in a new space where we basically are expanding and uh, it's almost done. And I'm taking huge chances. But I think back to those that time when Rosie asked me that question and I said $25 an hour. And my word to you guys is sometimes when we're down and out, sometimes when we've been in the valley for far too long and we come out and we start breathing, we think breathing is good enough. And like, if we can just get comfortable breathing, like that would be amazing. But don't sell yourself short. Don't get short-sighted. 
because this world is big. Your life is long. You were created with individual talents. Like there is a perfect path for you. There is greatness for you, no matter who you are. And we need to step on that path. We need to learn how to walk boldly through all adversity. And we need to go after greatness. You won't be able to comprehend what greatness is. But if you have the courage to walk, if you have crazy faith, if you have crazy belief, and you keep solving the right problems, those doors will open and that path will get, just keep dropping in front of you and you will end up in, in a place that you never dreamt of. There will be far beyond your dreams.